students so today we are going to do a experiment the aim of this experiment is to study the variation of magnetic field with distance along the axis of a circular coil carrying current by plotting a graph apparatus circular coil this one is circular coil compass box emitter cell rheostat key commutator and connecting wires so these are the apparatus required for this experiment we will see the theory related to this experiment a current carrying wire generates a magnetic field according to bayer-sever's law the magnetic field db at a point d to an element of a conductor carrying current is directly proportional to the strength of the current i directly proportional to the length of the element dl directly proportional to the sine of the angle theta between the element and the line joining the element to the point and inversely pro proportional to the square of the distance r between the element and the point that is db equals to mu 0 by 4 pi into i dl sin theta divided by r square by bayer sever's law the total magnetic field at a point which is at a distance x away from the center of the circular coil of radius r having n turns is given by d equals to mu 0 n i by 2 into r square divided by x square plus r square whole raise 3 by 2 where mu naught equals to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 henry per meter is absolute permeability of free space where where n is the number of turns of the coil i the current flowing through the coil r is the radius of the coil and x is the distance of the point from the center of the coil. The magnetic field with distance x along the axis of a coil carrying current varies as shown. If we arrange the plane of the coil parallel to the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field B0, then from tangent law we can write B equals to B0 tan theta where theta is the deflection of the magnetic needle from B0 at the point P and B0 equals to 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 Tesla. Now let us discuss the procedure of this experiment. First we have to adjust the apparatus in the magnetic meridian. This can be done as follows. Place the compass box on the slider. At the center of the circular coil that is x equals to 0 centimeter x equals to 0 centimeter now rotate the compass box till its 1990 become parallel to the plane of the circular coil rotating the whole apparatus in the horizontal plane and make the aluminium pointer at 0, 0 reading. Now the apparatus is in the magnetic meridian and the coil, the needle and its image in the mirror all lie in the same vertical plane. Now to find the magnetic field at different points, set up the electrical connections as follows. Connect the negative terminal of the cell. Throw key. To 
one end of the rheostat and the other end of the rheostat to one terminal of the commutator now the positive terminal of the cell connected to the positive terminal of the emitter negative terminal of the emitter to the third terminal of the commutator in the commutator you see this one is first terminal this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one so first in the third terminal we connect it to the cell through all this first terminal we connect it through rheostat through key to the negative of this cell and the third terminal we are going to connect through emitter to the positive of the cell this is the circular coil so circular coil here you see this is the common terminal zero two number of turns 15 number of turns and 500 number of turns are there so common this is compulsory and we choose the 15 number of turns here so we are going to connect here this is the common one so common terminal we are going to do connections to the second of the commutator second terminal of the commutator And the 50 number of turns connect to the fourth terminal of the commutator. So, this is our electrical connections now let us start how to take the observations place the compass box at the center of the circular coil at x equals to 0 centimeter now by using the rheostat adjust the current we adjust the current here 0.4 ampere by sliding this one rheostat we adjust the current here 0.4 ampere such that the deflections of the aluminium pointer is between 60 to 80 degrees. Now note the deflections at both the ends of the aluminium pointer. This is our observation table. We set up the current here 0.4 ampere. We set up the circular coil at x equals to 0 centimeter. This is the 0 centimeter first observation. And for direct current, with this commutator, we change the direction of the current. First, we had taken the direct part. So, direct current, we had noted the both the pointers observations here 74 and 73 reverse the current by using this commutator again note down the deflections at both the ends of the aluminium pointer write it here this is 80 and 81 
then calculate the mean deflection theta at x equals to 0 centimeter so here theta we had taken four set observation so this is 74 plus 73 plus 80 plus 81 divided by 4 see so here we got now let us start how to take the observations Place the compass box at the center of the circular coil at x equals to 0 cm. By using rheostat, we adjust the current here. Current here we are adjusting here 0.4 ampere. Such that the deflections of the aluminium pointer is between 60 to 80 degree. Note the readings at both the ends of the aluminium pointer. This is the direct one. So we got the observations here. This is 74, 73. By using commutator, reverse the directions of the current and again note the deflections of the aluminium pointer. So here, reverse direction we got 80, 81. Then calculate the mean deflection theta at x equals to 0 centimeter. So here, theta we got theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus theta 4 divided by 4. So take the mean of all 4, find the mean theta here. Now place the compass box at another distance say x equals to 1 cm on the right side from the center of the circular coil. And note the deflections at both the ends of the aluminium pointer. So here our next observation our distance this is 1 cm and this is the direct one for direct current we got the deflection here 69 and 68. Reverse the directions of the current by using this commutator and again note the deflections of both the pointers. Here this is in the reverse direction, this is 79 and 80. Now calculate the mean deflection theta at x equals to 1 cm. Again this is theta 1, theta plus theta 2, plus theta 3, plus theta 4, whole divided by 4, find the mean theta value here. After that you have to find the tan theta value. After finding the mean theta value, for x equals to 0 cm, finding the mean theta, then find the tan theta of this one. Similarly, x equals to 1 cm, after finding the mean theta, then find the tan theta of this value. Like that, we are going to repeat the procedure. Similarly, repeat the same procedure by placing the compass box at different distances in both the sides from the center of the circular coil up to 15 cm. On both the sides we are going to take observations by keeping the current constant at the same value. And also calculate the mean deflection theta at each point and the corresponding tan theta values also at each point. Now if you plot a graph between tan theta and x, the nature of the graph it is like that it is a model graph. And the graph shows how the magnetic field varies along the axis of a circular coil. Now repeat the same procedure for different number of turns of the circular coil and for different currents also. Now so far we have discussed the aim, 
apparatus required theory and procedure of this experiment to study the variation of magnetic field intensity along the axis of the circular coil carrying current and the application of this experiment is it is applicable in the working of loop antennas